Tonight in a Fox 17 special report, a device straight out of science fiction movies. It's starting to play an important role in lives here in Middle Tennessee. 3D printers are finding new and useful applications, specifically in the medical field. Fox 17 Sky Arnold takes a look at the invaluable progress of printing. You can make bracelets, rings. I'm gonna make a ring for my nurse. Time runs a little slower when you're 18. I'm gonna put an M for my nurse. That's why Emily Neblet's computer is critical. It just gives me something to get out of bed and look forward to. For most of her life, Neblet hasn't had that luxury. It's awesome. <laughs> She suffers from cystic fibrosis, and about every five months or so, this young woman has to spend two weeks confined to a hospital room. Boring. <laughs> There's nothing to do. And that all changed during her last stay. Too often they spend time on their bed. When Gokul Krishnan brought in something he calls a maker space, it's complete with a 3D printer. It's fascinating what it's doing to the kids. They're more active, they're leaving the bed, uh, they're collaborating with people. Neblet is one of 12 kids in the Vanderbilt Children's Hospital who are using this technology many adults still aren't acquainted with. It's a little thread of essentially what looks like plastic. So we asked Vanderbilt Junior Nick Blair to show us. It heats up to a really high temperature and melts that plastic down into like a semi-liquid state. The printer shoots that liquid plastic almost like a faucet. <laughs> creating pretty much whatever you want. And you come in and put a design on the printer and suddenly, you know, a couple hours later, you've got your design in your hands. There's something else that's really cool about this, too. You don't actually have to be on the same continent to print useful stuff. They're going to help the poorest people in the whole world. Meet Dr. Joseph Conrad. Our hope is that we'll be able to translate technology and science into something that does good for other people. Conrad is part of a Vanderbilt undertaking in Zambia that's designing completely new technology to detect malaria without a lab. Well, the device kind of works similar to a pregnancy test. They'll deposit blood on a strip that goes inside where there's a magnet that pulls out evidence of malaria. Medical crews in Zambia will soon be printing out these devices and giving feedback much faster than they ever could with traditional shipping. We can incorporate small changes and immediately see what they do to the overall design. Experiments like this are just the beginning, too. There are machines that now print with biomatter or metal. Offers whole new ways of putting things together. Vanderbilt engineering professor Ken Frampton believes the students working in labs like his will eventually change how we build all kinds of things. There are whole new ways of building things that we haven't even thought of yet that are going to come to fruition because of this technology. Back in Neblet's room, the technology has already done something that was once unthinkable. Okay, it's done. She actually says this about her two weeks in the hospital designing things. Yeah, I might miss it a little bit. Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News. She made her own ring. How about that? Some of the 3D printers we just showed you come from a studio at Vanderbilt that's run by students and available for all of them to use regardless of their major.